Hello, welcome to one of my favorite parts of the month. It's time to unbox another Fly Girl box. Fly Girl box is a monthly subscription program designed for flight attendants and traveling women, which I am a former flight attendant and a current traveling woman. So this box is one of my favorite parts of the month. I get this box every month um, and it's full of a collection of curated goodies. Um, Brittany, the owner of Fly Girl Box, really is super thoughtful in making sure that you get a wide variety of things every month. Um, this is my third box. They've been in business three months, so I've gotten them all. Um, this is my third one. I'm going to open it for you in a minute. I would love for you to try this box too, and she has um, given me a code to give you. Save 10% off your first box with code NEWFLYGIRL. So just do it as one word, NEWFLYGIRL, and you'll save 10% off your first order. Um, the link in is in the description if you want to go ahead and click through. Um, and again, coupon code is NEWFLYGIRL. Save 10%. This is the box. Isn't it pretty? I love, she's super good at this kind of stuff. I think I say this every time. Um, I'm not super good at graphic-y stuff. And so anytime I see something that's like done really well like this, like I love this color. I love that this looks like a little vintage suitcase. It says crew. Um, this is what you get on your doorstop every month. So let's go ahead and dive in. Inside. This right here is um, her social media information. Once you get your box, you can share a picture of it on social media with the hashtag FlyGirlBox for a chance to win a free box. So every month she gives away a free box. So you could try a free box, save 10% with your code new FlyGirl, and then win a free box too, <laughs> which would be like the ultimate because then you get a free one. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in and see what's in here. Ooh. All right, don't look. Now, I always sort of glance at the things that are in the box, and she always sends out a review, a little, um, it's like a, it's, I was going to call it a bulletin, but it's not really a bulletin. It's more like a newsletter um, that has all the information about the things in it and some other information that I will get to and always like an inspirational thingy. And then on the back, there's always a story. Um, the last two months it's been about um, flight attendants, sort of like how they got hired and at the beginning of their journey, which is totally my, my jam. Um, this month, I haven't read this yet, but I'm going to read this one too because it looks exciting as a woman traveler, which I am. Seven reasons to put Alaska on your travel bucket list. So just sort of like some little information. And again, it also breaks down everything that's in the box. So let's get to it. First of all, okay, the Mockingbird Lighted Mirror Compact. $9 value. I purchased my box. I am an affiliate, so I earn a commission if you purchase a box using my link. But um, I purchased my box, so I always am super interested in the value. It's $39.99 plus a little bit of shipping. If you do it month to month, it's less if you go ahead and get six months worth or, or however. So this is worth $9.99. This is valued at $9.99, and it's a mirror. Nice compact. Oh, it does some. Hold on. So it's a mirror, but it obviously. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yes, queen. Look. It's like studio lights. It's like stage makeup, do my lights, lights. It's not like a little dinky light at the top. This is like makeup. This is like I'm hiding in the galley and I got to put on my landing lips mirror, right? Looks like it maybe has some magnification at the top too, which um, as you reach your mid-30s like me, you're like, hmm. Can we get a demagnifying mirror so that I can have a little bit of, you know, decency and not decency. So I get dignity. So I can keep my dignity. Um, but super cute. It's pink. Turn little switch on the back. Mine says hot mess fixer. Yes. Okay. They're randomly chosen, but that sounds pretty perfect for me. As you can tell by my crazy hair. Hot mess. Okay. Bobino bookmark pen. So we got a, in our first box, we got a Bobino cell phone holder that, um, it was like a little contraption that you use in it to plug you 
hook it on your plug so your phone has like a shelf so that your phone's not on the floor when you're charging in public or at home. Mine's in my kitchen, <laughs> actually. So, but this is the Babino bookmark pen valued at $6.99. So it looks to be a pen that is a bookmark. Like I said, I never really, I don't pre, I kind of glance in the box, but I don't like get into it because I like to do it with y'all. <laughs> okay, so let's get it, let's pop it open, people. Okay, so it's super thin. Does it light? Is that what it said or no? Oh, for some reason I thought it lit up. Okay, no lighting, but it's got a little hook here. So um, if you still have a paper manual, this would be fantastic. Uh, but you could also keep it in your book, like just in your book that you're reading so that you always have a pen handy. Um, you know, most airlines require duty item is a pen. This one's super thin. Um, I'm trying to think what I'm gonna do with it. I'll probably pop it in my planner, which is actually right over here. It's been colored on by a child, but I love the Purposeful Planner by Corey Clark, who is a friend of mine. Um, so I could just like pop this into the day that we're, that I'm working on and it would be, see really low profile in the book and it would kind of stay put. So that's cool. I'm such a big reader. I love anything that is a bookmark. So that's really cute too. That's cool. All right. Nice. Next. I don't know. You can serve food cozy wraps. Um, some cozy wrapping for my food. Let's see what this is. We also get something every month that is for our lunchbox. So, um, you know, like I said, I'm not a flight attendant anymore, so I'm not traveling for work. This was what the packaging looked like. Committed to reducing the amount of trash we produce one meal at a time. But I do travel a ton. Um, not as much as a flight center or anything like that. But I travel, I fly three or four times a month. So I'm I'm traveling a fair amount to the point that I'm always packing food. Uh, so this is basically kind of like, so it would be instead of saran wrap. What I'm thinking with this is... I always pack a sandwich for day one for me, my husband, for our children. So, and I usually do a wrap because then it doesn't get soggy. So most of the time mine is like turkey, lettuce, mustard, cheese in a wrap. And then his is like salami, pepperoni, turkey, and lettuce. He would have no idea what mine is, FYI, and I totally know his. And then, so I'm thinking that we'll just be using this. So you just kind of burrito wrap it around the burrito. And then it's got some Velcro to snug it up and it would just keep and I could put it in the bag because that doesn't necessarily need to be super sealed up. Um, this isn't going to get you like a super tight seal. You could also, if you had leftovers, like you're eating half your deli sandwich, you could wrap it up in this as well. And it did say on here, you hand wash, air dry. So then you would just kind of fold it back up, roll it back up dirty all sealed up into your back into your lunch bag or whatever. Or you could put it in the air sickness bag and then put the air sickness bag in your bag to keep it from spreading. And then you'll just rinse it out at the hotel and hang it to dry. I don't know what you'd hang it on. Just drape it over something. Don't forget it. So those are pretty cool. That's kind of nice. I'm not, um, I try to be environmentally friendly. We live super close to the ocean, so we do certain things like we're pretty strawless. Well, we do reusable straws and we um, clip all of our soda rings and stuff because we're so close to the ocean. But um, this is going to be a good way for me to sort of incorporate another uh, way to save our oceans and our Mother Earth. Next, those are valued at $6.95. I don't know if I told you. Next, BBB Long Lasting lip, long lasting matte lipstick, $22 value. So BBB stands for Beauty by Brianna. Beauty, Beauty by Brianna. I actually cheated and I'm wearing it because I didn't want to be applying lipstick on the interwebs um, today. That might get me some new followers if you know what I'm saying. So here is what it looks like. Really pretty really pretty packaging. I'm super obsessed with the Shaws of Sunset right now. So um, this gold is very Persian. So I'm loving that as well. Uh, so I've had this lipstick on. It's long wearing, which means, okay, so I'm a lip sense girl. I love lip sense because it stays on. This does not have any sort of top coat. So it's a matte and it feels similar to um, lip sense, but it's not as stuck to your lips 
as lip sense, but it's not coming off either. See, let me not like flip you off. Let me take a See, so it's not really on my finger, not really off my lips. But I wore this actually yesterday too, and it did come off as I was eating food. Um, not as much as regular lipstick, but it doesn't hold as much as lip scents, which is kind of nice because sometimes that lip scents, you wake up and then you're like, ah, I scared myself, I forgot. So this is kind of a casual color for like a casual day, um, and it's really comfortable too. And like I said, there's no top glosser, so I kind of like that too. It's kind of cash and... And um, this color is called Jackie. It's a little bit of uh, light pink. Y'all know I'm used to the super brights. So this is not the one I would have picked out. But it's always nice to get something that you wouldn't normally pick out that you discover that you like. Which is one of my favorite things about the Fly Girl box. Next, notebook journal. Oh, here's where my pen goes, right? I should have read through the whole thing first. Because now I've got this cute beautiful journal. So, oh, it's got graphing paper on the inside, which is kind of different, um, instead of just regular lines. So you could use this to draw, you could use this to doodle, you could use this as a flight log, you could use this to write down your hopes and dreams, you could do this to write down, um, I don't know, like that is always like the pressure of a new journal, because I love journals, like love journals my favorite, buy me a journal if you want to make me happy. Um, but they're all blank because I can't figure out what is worthy to go in the beautiful journal. <sighs> that sounds like something maybe I need counseling for the, the interwebs, the, the internet probably I should maybe shouldn't have shared with that emphatically. So I'll have to pick something super cool for this one. Um, and then look, I've got a bookmark pen. How convenient like it was meant to be which is cool but see how pretty it is it's the map my favorite place right now is the Caribbean right here the Caribbean Ocean all right that is I don't remember what that was valued at seven nine to nine next okay next slash last slash but not least is my food item. There's always a food item too. We've gotten like this vegan spaghetti. I haven't even tried it yet. We got some snacks, um, cheesy snacks last time. And today, purely Elizabeth, um, apple cinnamon pecan superfood. This is valued at 3.39. Antioxidant rich ingredients combined with gluten-free oats, quinoa, flax, and chia in this delicious new breakfast cup mixed with hot water or microwave for a warm breakfast. For overnight oats, simply stir in your favorite nut milk and refrigerate overnight. Top with award-winning original ancient grain granola for the perfect combination of oats and crunch. Okay. Let me tell you my true thoughts on this. So I love these little cups. Um, you have to be careful when you're packing them in your bag that they don't get crunched. So they're not quite, it's like a toss up. So there's more convenient than the packets because they come in their own cup, but you gotta be careful that it doesn't get crunched and bust a hole in it. So you probably wanna use it um, on day one or day two when you've still got a little bit of, of stuff around it in your suitcase or in your bag. So this would not be the kind of thing I would put in my suitcase as a just in case. I would actually, put this into my meal plan. I would, I do like oatmeal as a just in case, but I like the envelopes better for that. Also, here's a trick. So you can of course put, put water in it, put it in a microwave, just like regular folks. But since you're probably on the airplane, um, this is my little trick. So there's going to be a line in here of how much water needs to go in it for it to sort of cook. Only do half of it to start with. So put half the hot water in from the thing, from the coffee maker, the thing, from the coffee maker, hot water, stir, 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 stir. Let that do its work for a minute or two and it'll get everything soft and everything. Then put the rest of the water in, the hot water in, continue to stir and it will sort of rewarm it. Because if you fill the whole thing up with that hot water, it's not actually boiling. If you fill it with the hot water, then by the time it's cooked and ready to eat, it's gone like lukewarm. So you can like cook it with half the water, stir, 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 add the other hot water when you're ready to eat, stir, and it'll rewarm it up. So it will be a little bit warmer than if you use the whole thing. It also says you can do overnight oats. There's not a lot of instructions on here. It just says add cold milk, stir. Oh, it does need to go in the fridge. So 
I mean, if you have a fridge, awesome. A lot of times we don't have a microwave and we don't have a fridge as traveling flight attendants. As a traveling woman, I can purchase a room with a fridge, but um, as flight attendants. So that's why this would be perfect for on the plane. Um, and I don't know how many hours. It says 15 minutes. So I guess if you wanted cold, you could actually use milk from the cart or nut milk if you want, if you have nut milk, which is like the, I'm really uncomfortable saying that, but anyways. Um, you could use it, and it says you could just soak it. So maybe, like, at the beginning of the flight, put some in, pop it in the cart. Take a Coke out so it won't, like, flop around in your cart. And then um, eat it maybe after first beverage service. Wow, that was a lot of time spent on the oatmeal tricks. The struggle is real. Maybe I should do a video on the ramen tricks, too. Oh, y'all, in my Facebook group, Flight Attendant Career Connection, this week, there was this post, I don't even know how many comments about the ramen, about the tricks of the ramen, about the, like, I was sharing how, like, I've eaten it, you know, I don't even have a way to cook it, I like, crunching it up, sprinkle the seasoning on it, and I'm, like, popping it like popcorn, cross-legged on the hotel bed, watching Law & Order, because that's always the only thing that's on on your layover, um, but it was just funny, everybody, pulled eggs, people were putting all sorts of stuff on it. All right, I digress. Another thing that was really cool in this box is um, Fly Girl Box has partnered with Galley Delights. I'm getting the information for her, too. With Galley Delights. So, galleydelights.org. This is, she sent me, it's another Brittany from Galley Delights, um, a little card. So, she's partnered with... Galley Delights and Fly Girl Box are partnering together, and for the next couple months, when you purchase your box, save 10% with code new Fly Girl, you will get access to some meal prepping recipes from Galley Delights, which is another company that helps flight attendants with meal prep. Um, we also got a free, um, what's this called? A recipe. Tuna salad stuffed bell peppers. So I was reading it. I'm like, who's going to stuff a tuna salad into a bell pepper for the flight? But then if you look over here, there's packing tips because <laughs> I was like, mm, I don't know about that. So actually, there's some really good advice over here on the side. And it says to, to put it um, in, don't stuff the pepper, but slice the pepper so that you can actually eat it with it. And that would be easier on the plane than having like a stuffed pepper. I don't know. <sighs> Never had a tuna stuffed bell pepper. I don't know. Maybe you actually sit down with a knife and fork and cut it up in, like, real life. I should I should learn how to eat more food. It sounds a little healthy for me. Y'all saw my last video, you know, about my workout tips. So, they're not. <laughs> Which is a joke. Go watch the last video. So, I thought that was really smart, though, so that you can package that up together. And she said even use your cozy wraps to wrap up your bell peppers before you go. So I thought that was kind of nice. That was a, that was a cool idea. I loved that. So basically I love that there was some packing tips that really personalized it for flight attendants and traveling women like myself. So that's this month. This was August, uh, August, just uh, fly girl box. Um, it was valued. Oh my gosh. I added it up and then I forgot the number. So that's 38. 39, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So 56, 55, 56 dollars worth of um, products, including a cool lipstick um, for about 46 dollars or so because I am just month to month and not getting my discount by booking six months in advance, which I totally should do since I'm loving these boxes. Um, probably my favorite thing, well, I love the lipstick. I'm really happy with the lipstick. And like I said, I wouldn't have bought it. Um, and then this little hot mess fixer is really cute too. Right? Huh? I can put on my lipstick. All right. Well, that is my review of this box. Again, I feel like it's a winner. Another winner. Another um, collection of things that I probably would have picked up in the store, thought about purchasing because I thought they looked interesting, and probably put back because I don't um, buy enough cool things. 
for myself, for my family. Uh, but getting the Fly Girl box has really sort of opened me up to a couple um, products that I would have been interested in that I wouldn't have actually purchased. And so stay tuned for September's box unboxing coming up um, soon. Okay, y'all, this was actually September's box. Good Lord. So stay tuned for October's box. This was September's box. You can watch August's box. Um, before so sorry about that but anyways also stay tuned for october's unboxing so that'll be in like a month and then also i'm working on um sort of a general review of the three months and i'm going to be bringing you my favorite products after i've actually used them so not just the unboxing but the actual usage of them review um coming up soon so don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel um, don't forget to purchase your fly girl box save 10 percent with the code new fly girl and don't forget to take a picture and tag hashtag fly girl box so that you have a chance to win your next month's box free have a great day fly safe keep looking skyward